Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about scope. So, what is a scope? Scope determines the region of the program in which a defined object is visible. So, let us take one real-time example. For your college, there is principal HOD and lecturer. Okay, so now the principal is common to college. The HOD is common to all the classes in the department. So lecturer is restricted to a specific class. That means the so principal is so global to the college. HOD is local to the department. Lecturer is local to the class. Okay, so let us think these are the object. So principal object is global. You can access the principal from any department. HOD, you can access the HOD object from a specific department only. So lecturer, you can access this object from a specific class only. Now you see the definition of the scope again. Scope determines the region of the program in which a defined object is visible. Now this principal object is visible to entire college. The HOD object is visible to within the department and lecturer object is visible to within the class only. Okay, I hope you all are understand what is the scope. So scope determines the region of the program. The principal region is to entire college. The HOD region is restricted to department. The lecturer is object is restricted to some class. Okay, now coming to our C program. So how you can start the C program? Header files. After that you can specify the functions what are using in your program. After you start the main function and you write the code. And after that if you specify any functions then you can define the functions. So this is the structure of C program. Now in this, so this part we are called as a global area. Global area. So this part, the main part we are called as a main area. If you define another block, so how we can define a block is nothing but so flower bracket open, flower bracket close. That's it. So this is a block. So this type of blocks we are called as a nested block area. Why we call it as a nested? It is nested in another block. And so this we are called as a function area. Now scope is nothing but for example here I am declaring int p int p now so this p can access from any place of the program okay so why it is declared as global so next here i declare int a now the scope of the a is within this block only i declared here and i can use this a within this block only i can use this a in this block also Similarly, so HOD is known to the class also. And similarly, int b is defined in the nested block. So, so the scope of the b is within this block only. So if outside the scope, if I want to print this b, then it returns an error. And similarly, this int c is defined in this function. So the scope of the c is within this block only. So after declaration only, the scope will be started. And the block is ended, the scope of the variable also ended. Okay, so this is about the scope. Now, we get two scopes, two types of scopes. One is global scope, local scope. So, what is a global scope? If you declare a variable in global area, then the scope of the variable is global scope. You can access this variable from any part of this program. And local scope is nothing but if you declare a variable within a block, then this variable is local to this block. We cannot access this variable A from outside the block. So this is about scope. 